So, I don't know much about Lithuanian food. And I happen to be in Lithuania. So I thought to myself, why don't I go and explore the elusive cuisine of Lithuania for myself? Now, if you see my previous vlog, you'll know that I have friends from Lithuania and they inspired me to come here to Lithuania and explore it for myself. So I'm incredibly excited to get to know Lithuanian food a bit more. And as a result, get to know Vilnius as well, because Vilnius is an incredible capital city with so much history and so much going on. Look how beautiful this is, for instance. That was Ujupis. We visited that in our previous vlog and uh, it's a very, very interesting place. So do go and watch that if you've not seen it before. But the mission here today is to go and explore Lithuanian food and see what it's like. Because to be honest, I don't know anything about it. I only know of one thing, and that's called Sepolini. Sepolini is, and I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, is the national dish of Lithuania. And how would I describe it? It's like a potato dumpling that is filled with meat. We're going to a place that has turned that on its head a little bit and it does seppellini a little bit differently to how most people do it. So they have smaller portions of seppellini, which they have done some of their own creative things to because Vilnius as a capital city is an incredibly creative place and it's quite an innovative place. And so as a result, you get a lot of these restaurants open up who are trying different things. And this place that we're going to, they happen to be specializing in seppellini, which, uh, is of the smaller variety, I guess you could say. And if you've never tried it, it's amazing. So I'll tell you an interesting story. So back in 2016, many, many years ago now, I first started college. Well, I say started, I mean, I went back to college as an adult to do a new, uh, to start a new career, because I used to be a chef. And I decided to go into the world of computing, because I'm a web developer now. And obviously in order to do that, I uh, had to go to college. And when I went to college, I met a bunch of Lithuanian guys. So, Zhigalaitis, big respect, mate, if you're watching. Augustinus, if you're watching, mate, love ya. Orestas, same with you, bro. I think you live in Kaunas now, from what I remember. And uh, Marus. And if there's anyone I forgot, I do apologize. I've got a terrible memory. But those guys introduced me to the world of Lithuania and the very interesting country that they uh, are from. And they told me all about Cepelini. And I was like, wow, I'd love to try that. That sounds amazing. And they said, well, luckily for you, Bobby, where we live, we have a big Lithuanian community. So how about we go to a Lithuanian restaurant? And so they took me to a restaurant called Kaimas. Wow, look at this view, guys, sorry. Look at that, up on the hill. They took me to a restaurant called Kaimas. And I believe Kaimas means village in Lithuanian, from what I remember them saying. And it was there that I tried Cepelini for the first ever time. And it was so filling. Uh, they said, do you want one or two? And I said, let's go for two, why not? You know, I've uh, had a long day at college. I need to get some grub, let's try two. I got through half of that one and I couldn't stomach any more. It was so filling, it was beautiful. And from what I recall, they covered it in uh, some sort of sour cream and herb sauce. And it was amazing. And although I've not had Cepelini since, purely because my friends, we've all gone into different universities and it don't feel right. I need to, if I have Cepelini, you should be with those guys. But I'm sure they'd forgive me to come and try Cepelini here in Lithuania, in the country they told me so much about so many years ago. It's crazy to think I'm here, guys. I mean, tell me, I've been telling you all about Lithuania over the years, haven't I? She's a non-stop about it. When we first got together, we did a bucket list of cities that we'd like to visit. And Vilnius was on my bucket list. And I can't believe I'm here. I mean, look at this. This is absolutely stunning. What a city. How beautiful is that? Hey, it's just those little finishing touches. So we're going to a restaurant now, as I say, that specializes in Cepellini and various other things as well. And then we're going to extend our food tour to go and try some various different things. So as I say, I've got good friends from Lithuania who have recommended various different things. I'll tell you what they are shortly. The Cepellini is something that I want to try again because it's been too many years since I last tried it and uh, I'm missing it. So uh, hopefully it doesn't do what it did last time and fill me up so much that I can't eat anything else. Because uh, after all, this is a food tour. What good's a food tour if you can't actually eat anything? But uh, 
yeah, so I'm gonna go and get to this place now, go and explore it and see what it's like. Okay, so we find ourselves in this pretty cool shopping mall in Lithuania, and here is the place we've been looking for. Burner House. So of course, I don't understand any of this, so I'm hoping that I can get a bit of help. But uh, yeah, this looks pretty cool. Sekia, um, are you covered to English game? Ah, perfect. I'm so sorry, my Lithuanian is terrible. Thank you, thank you. I've heard this is the best place to get um, Cepelini. Yeah. So how do you say Cepelini? In Lithuanian, Cepelini. Cepelini. Zepa, like a Z. Cepelini. Zep. That's hard. <laughs> okay, what is the best Zeppelin? The classic ones, pork. Okay, um, can I have one of them, please? And can I also get um, Vienna potato pancake? Okay. Uh, Nori Ochel, Vienna. Uh, Nori Ochel, Asisakate, Vienna potato pancake. I don't know the word in Lithuanian. <laughs> Bulvini Vienna. Bulvini Vienna, okay, cool. Was that correct? Is it Nori Ochel, Asisakate, Vienna? And then the, the name, is that? Vienna Portia. Portia, okay. Okay, yeah. it's a very difficult language. I keep trying, but it's so hard. Uh, so what, what sauce do you want? Oh, okay, there's choices. Yeah. Um, oh, mushroom sauce, that sounds amazing, please. Achu. <laughs> Are you from Vilnius? No, from the different town. Oh, where, what's, what's the town called that you're from? Uh, Moniatek. Oh, where's, a, where's that? It's near Vilnius, but... See, I've got friends from Klaipeda, I've got friends from Tauriga? Tauriga. Tauriga, Tauriga. Uh, Klaipeda, Tauriga, Tauriga. It's really hard to say. Tauriga. Um, we just visit, visited Kaunas. One of my friends lives there. And we're going to uh, Trakai tomorrow. Trakai, Trakai. I love Lithuania. I've literally been wanting to come here for so long. And it's such an incredible country. I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> What, what would you like? No, Nothing? Okay, we can share. That's everything, please. Thank you. Uh, cor cortella. Cortella. Thank you. Thank you so much. Perfect. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure talking to you. Uh, yeah, we'll sit. Where should we sit? Shall we sit? Wow, look at this. That's cool. We we'll sit here. <laughs> oh. So there we go guys, just ordered my Cepelini, um, so excited to try it. I don't know how authentic this place is, I mean it doesn't look massively authentic, but it still looks really cool. Um, and Lithuania has this really cool vibe, but this is so random, is this a squash tam? A pumpkin? I have never seen a green pumpkin. Are you sure it's a pumpkin? Pumpkin, wow, okay. So yeah, this will be my first try of Lithuanian food that came to, what is it, like 17 euros? So for potato pancakes and mushroom sauce, Cepelini, that's a pretty good deal if you ask me. We'll share it between ourselves because Tammy, she loves to try new food, but it's one of those things, she might try it, she might hate it, and then that's just throwing money down the drain. But there's one thing that we know that, know that she does like, and that is a kebab, because we have a lot of kebabs in the UK, don't we? And uh, I've heard they do a really good kebab in, uh, well, not just Vilnius, but Lithuania in general. So we're gonna go and explore Vilnius and see if we can find a good kebab for Tammy later, if she doesn't like this. And then there's also some desserts as well. So uh, yeah, we'll wait for the food to come, see what it's like, and uh, yeah, hopefully it'll be good. This is pretty cool as well, look. This is, uh, we have this in the UK. So I think I went to a place in Leeds, in the UK. We order something, and then this thing here starts beeping when it's ready. You go and collect your food, and then good to go. So yeah, let's see what Lithuanian food is like, and let's get Tammy's first opinion, because I've tried Cebellini, but she never has, so first time. Right guys, the food has arrived, and let me tell you, it looks amazing. Let's have a look at this. So we actually ordered something uh, on top of this. I think this is called Shalti Batsiu, which is like a beetroot soup. And I've, that was recommended to me by quite a few people. So you've got like an egg in here, you've got like a potato skewer, you've got a dill, and I think maybe some chives in there, and you've got beetroot, and that's like a cream-based beetroot sauce. And then we've also got obviously the potato pancakes with mushroom sauce, and then the sepalini, which is the national dish of um, uh, Lithuania. And Tammy is gonna try it for the first time. So Tam, give us your thoughts, my love. Give the old smell tests, <laughs> see if it passes that, which it does.
it's not for everyone. It's quite a uh, quite a quite a, quite an acquired taste. But I love this stuff. What about? Do you want to try the potato pancakes? Oh, it's, a, it's a texture thing. That's fine. What about the potato pancakes? Dip it in the bit of that mushroom sauce. Left. Get stuck in. See what you think. So Bilini, Bilani, I can't remember. I'll put it down below. Okay, so she approves of that, guys. She likes that. Do you fancy trying some of this shanti but see if no. Beetroot soup, the beetroot soup. Do you fancy trying some of that? So yeah, these have gone down well. How about the beetroot soup, love? Give us your honest thoughts. What's you that? Do. You have that, I have this. No, you're doing a swap. Okay, I think that's fair enough. We'll have a little bit of that and then I'll let you have that and then we'll share that and I'll have that. Yeah. Right. Like that. Give me up the camera, Tam, and uh, I shall give this a go, guys. So, let's start off with. I've been waiting for years, guys. Tepolini, as I say. I can't pronounce it, guys. I do apologise. So, we've got. Let's get that right in there. So, I'll kind of give you a breakdown of what it is. So, you've got the meat there, which I believe is pork. And then you've got this sauce, which I believe there's bits of meat in it, like maybe bacon. And then there's like dill, and it's like a creamy. The sauce is nice. It's like a creamy just, based sauce. Yeah. And I believe there's some like uh, chives in there as well, perhaps some um, maybe spring onions. Yeah. And then this is like the interesting part. So this is like the potato dough. And I believe it's like made with like grated potato and then mashed potato, and they mix it together. And then they pass it through this very interesting machine, which makes them into semolini. So let's. For the first time in many years, try some. That is beautiful. That sauce, guys, is absolutely incredible. So rich and flavorful. Mm, I like the sauce, that was so nice. Mm, really I'm going nice. to dip um, my potato, bit of potato pancake in it. Let's try a bit of potato pancake. That's sacrilege, I don't know, guys. Might not be able to do this, but hey, look, Tammy's breaking barriers, you know. Potato pancake with the sauce. What's it like? It's actually really nice. Is it good? <laughs> right, let's try a bit of potato pancake in the mushroom sauce. So here we go. Well, I love potato pancakes. I'll have them in Poland when I go and visit there. So I know I probably like this, and I love mushroom sauce. That's amazing. That's really hot enough to try that on its own. Mm. I don't want to contaminate it, guys. Gotta be careful. Really gotta appreciate that flavour. It's like meaty, slight tiny bit of acidity, and like herby as well. Lovely. Let's try the beetroot soup. A bit weird, isn't it? A weird order to do things in. But, and as well, I really want to eat that pumpkin. A green pumpkin. It's a pumpkin after all, guys. Because it's uh, not far from being autumn. It is autumn. It is autumn. Yeah. It reminds me somewhat of borscht. So I've had borscht before, and borscht is like a beetroot soup. This is a cold soup. That's so nice, actually. I really like that. Let's try a bit at the end. Right, hey. I would never think about putting an egg in that soup, but it really works. And this is the craziest thing. I have never seen a potato skewer. Let's go for it. What a combination. Do you want to try a bit of potato skewer? I'll try it in a minute. What a combo. I'll let her try it off camera. But yeah, Lithuanian food wise, so. Potato pancakes, seppellini, cold beetroot soup, absolutely amazing. Do give them a go. What we're going to do is finish this lot off, give you our thoughts at the end, and then we're going to go and try find something, find something sweet to try, and then maybe some drinks as well. So stick with us and let's see what else we can find in this amazing country. Achoo! That's it, Pashao. Scanios. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Okay, let's get a little look at this place then, guys. 
losing daylight but how cool is this place look man i actually have seen something very similar in london oh have i left my jacket oh no you've got it okay cool i thought i'd left my jacket behind i'm gonna need that it's gonna start getting cold but yeah look at this place guys this is proper cool you've got like little beer shops i might come back here for a beer at some point you've got another bar here you've got i'm not sure what that is but that sounds very interesting you've got like a walk walkout peas and love wow a place specialised in peas oh, hello doggy and uh yeah i enjoyed that that was really cool not often you get to go to places like that and uh yeah so what's the plan now then guys well oh i'm gonna open that door first and foremost so after that lovely meal we fancy some a little bit sweeter um but before we do that let's go and have a look over here quickly because this looks pretty cool so yeah we fancy something a bit sweeter and uh we're losing daylight obviously but uh yeah look how cool that is lithuania is like literally the gift that keeps on giving guys look at that how sick is that that's awesome that goes down there little water feature and then you've got this little area down here which is like a plaza so lithuania is both traditional and also very very modern look at that guys what a beautiful country you've got these kind of art nouveau kind of style buildings and then all this historical and modern and all, all in the same city what a place but the plan is now to go to try a bakery now to be honest this bakery isn't i would say traditional in the sense but there may be some traditional products in there that we've been recommended so we'll go in there and have a look and see if we can find them um fingers crossed we can and the reason why we've got to go here is because we don't have many choices to be honest um everywhere's closing because it's like quarter past seven so i'm just gonna have a look now i'm just trying to find the place uh google maps here we go found it so it's called crustum that's safe but that's it crustum and i'm not sure again that might be like the costa of lithuania for all i know but it's open open till 9 p.m and it does sweet treats and there's a place here that does sweet treats as well but we need to walk off that food and then we're going to probably try and get a beer or two and some dr uh, drinks um see what they like around here but yeah we're going to walk there now i'm going to charge this camera up because it needs charging and then uh, once i've done that then we'll go and see what a traditional lithuanian sweet treat is like so let's go and have a look okay so there's our place just here but before we do that let's have a little look around this area because it's lovely look at this look i really love the vibe of this place at night time and you know i've been to quite a few countries now and had a little look around during the nightlife and it's still very much kind of got that coffee culture at night everyone's just kind of sat out in these uh, little courtyard areas just having a nice drink and enjoying some time together and most importantly it just feels very safe very relaxed um everyone's just having a good time friendly there's no people that are drunk or rowdy or you know being angry or aggressive with each other it's just a generally uh, generally genuinely a genuinely very nice environment but the reason why we're not going to that store straight away is because i actually wanted to show you this incredible building so just in front of me is the vilnius cathedral and the vilnius cathedral i believe was built in the 13th maybe 12th century and it is a great example of gothic architecture and uh, neoclassical neoclassical style architecture as well in fact and it is simply beautiful so without further ado let's show you get ready for this guys look at that that is mental isn't it that is what you expect to see when you visit the wonderful country of lithuania now for me lithuania is not somewhere that people visit very often and i don't know why it shocks me a little bit because it's historic beautiful in terms of prices it's not the cheapest i will admit however we've probably been on the tourist strip a bit more but we're looking to break out and go into a few different places hopefully trukai is a bit cheaper but look at that guys you cannot deny that that is an incredible building and then it's not just that as well but all around you as well 
you've got these lovely buildings around you here lovely courtyards people are just relaxing it's just such a lovely vibe here and I really do love Lithuania already and I don't know who that statue is you have to let me know guys who is that statue there it's an incredible statue regardless amazing you'll have to help me out I'm not up to date on my Lithuanian history I, uh, I know little bits and pieces but not 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 everything oh no no uh, that is pro probably another scam so do be aware of that someone with a clipboard do be aware of it I tried to collar Tammy earlier and we had the same thing in Germany but yeah look at that look at that little it's like a reconstruction of the castle yeah. um, so that's what it would have looked like many many centuries ago and it's even got braille which is pretty cool you can't see it maybe you can just make it out there but yeah you gotta be careful there's uh, people going around with clipboards around here and uh, if it's anything like Germany which it might not be but in Berlin there's a scam where uh, people I did see a couple of symbols for like in Germany. Right, okay, so basically it's possibly, I'm just speculating, it's possibly a scam where they try to make you sign up for, let's hurry, <laughs> they possibly make they you, petition. they make you sign up for a, um, oh sign our petition for human rights, okay sure yeah human rights of course, you sign a petition and then they ask for a donation, that's disgraceful, if that's what it is, so if anyone comes to me with a clipboard, and I do it, this, I do it in the UK as well, if anybody comes up to me with a clipboard, it's just a straight up no. In Lithuania, that's ne. Just say ne. Or if you want to be polite, ne true. Ne true. I don't know if that's common, if you would say that, probably not. But that's basically like no thank you. So I'll just go ne true. Because I had this guy earlier who was, uh, he had like a, a really weird Victorian style camera. He was walking down the street and he pointed the camera at me and Tammy. And he's like, photo? I was like, nah man, ne true. <laughs> not interested. If I want a photo. I use this thing that I paid money for, or my phone, which I also paid money for. I'm sure your lovely big Victorian style camera is incredible and takes great photos, but a photo is a photo. So let's go into Krustum and see what it's like. See what the vibe is like in here. So it does accept like card, that's good. That's awesome. And this as well, I've heard of this before. Um, yeah, they do them in where we live, uh, but let's see, that looks familiar as well, I think I've tried that before, what do you reckon, shall we try the Napolino, Napoleno, I think that's how you say it, let's see what else there is though. That tiffin, yeah, that's very similar. Svekia, Nuricha, Usisa, Kite, Vienna, Napoleno? Napoleno? I'm sorry, my uh, Lithuanian is very bad. <laughs> Vienna. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Kort Kortela. Kortela. Right here to go. Uh, what should we have here to go? Yeah, we'll sit in, please. Thank you. One? Yeah, is it Viennas or Vienna? Viennas. Viennas, okay. And two is do. Vienna Gaboloka. Gaboloka. What is that? Gabaluka. It's a piece. Ah, like a piece of it. Okay. <laughs> I know German. In German, it's Stuck. I'm Stuck. I know German, but not. I don't know Lithuania very well. <laughs> uh, Cordella. Thank you so much. Your English is very, very good. Much better than my Lithuanian. <laughs> How did you learn to speak English so well? Uh, school. School. Okay. So, do you learn from quite a young age in Lithuania to speak English? Uh, from second grade. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Oh, really? I walked past the University of Vilnius a minute ago and it's beautiful. Yeah. So, so beautiful. I couldn't believe it. Wow. In, uh, we're, we're, uh, we're from England and where we live, there's a big uh, Lithuanian community. So we've got li lots of people from Lithuania who live in our city. And they always say, go to Lithuania, go to Lithuania. And I were like, okay, we'll go to Lithuania. So we've obviously come to Vilnius and then we're also going to Trakai. 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 Um, and also to Kaunas as well. Yeah, the main part of the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it. But we also want to go one day to, uh, I think it's called Druskin... Druskin? Druskin K? Druskin K? How do you say Druskin, it? Okay. Druskin K. Druskin K. That's hard to say. <laughs> and uh, you've got Klaipeda and yeah. you've got uh, Taurega? Ta Taurega? Taurega. 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 Yeah, 
hard to say, very hard to pronounce. So we want to go there as well. But it's so good to meet you. Thank you for your time. All right, let's try this then. Sam. That looks pretty awesome, doesn't it? Oh. Right, I'll let you go first. Okay, I'll go first. There you go. So this is. She's gone. I think this looks like a kind of pancake, though. Oh, okay, it's like layered, and I think it's like pastry, and that's, it looks like breadcrumbs. Mmm. Oh, that reminds me of something, actually. But I can't work out what. It's, it reminds me somewhat of a Bavarian slice, without the cream. <laughs> Try it. You see what I mean? Yeah, so you've got like layers. And I think there's like jam. And then there's maybe a crumble on it. Mm. <laughs> I better get to that before you nick it all off me. So yeah, we're gonna finish that off and then probably go and get some beers. So yeah. All right guys, so we decided to come shopping quickly and we're in this little shopping place and we brought a few interesting items. So I'll quickly talk you through them. So obviously we're in desperate need of coffee. So we've got that. We've actually got this as well. I think that's called Skilandugas or Skilandis, I think it's called. And it's like a sausage, so we're gonna try that at home. And then we've also got Gira, which is kind of like kvass in Russia, but not the same. And then we've also got some fruit juices. So we'll try these back at the apartment, but we will try and find a pub as well. But I'm just gonna let you pay for these, but you love if that's all right. I just want to quickly show the guys this. There's something really strange about Lithuania, I've noticed. And that is that for some reason, the, uh, oh, I see <laughs> uh, the, the alcohol section is, uh, for some reason, and this is pretty cool as well. Look at this, they do like fresh foods. I ain't got any at the moment, but for some reason the alcohol section in Lithuanian stores, or at least this one, is uh, closed off. I'm not sure why. Look. So, I'm not sure, like, do you have to ask someone to let you through to purchase alcohol? Because there was some alcohol I wanted to try, but instead I'm just going to go to the pub. But yeah, that's interesting. If someone from Lithuania can let me know what that's about, whether what the uh, what the deal with that is i'll be quite interested to know but in terms of prices this is what you're looking at really these kind of things but uh there's something i was told about as well to try and i actually found it in here but i'm just not willing to pay the price for it and that is called sakotis and it looks like that and it's like a layered cake and they also do it here as well but look 25 euros mental so I think that's one more for the tourists but they sell that back where I live in the UK as well I can get that there let's put that shot I can get that back where I live and uh, it's just as expensive actually but well, not that expensive it's like 15 euros where I live but still I may imagine it's a very good cake but yeah you got fresh produce as well so yeah I'm gonna try and find a pub but I thought I'd quickly show you our shopping experience as well right here Right, oh, I found a place that does beer called Fridays. Alos beer. And that's how you say it. So we shall try. That's it for the show. Thank you. 
Ah. ah, there we go, guys. So I got a dot here. That's quality. That's nice. That is. Tom's gone for a 60-64. Keeping it real. She knows what she likes. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, I'll get Tommy to. Let me take my bag off. I'll let you, I'll let you take your bag off. <laughs> take the bag off first. And uh, yeah, man, it's a nice little place. Like the music is pretty, pretty rocking. I hope it's not going to get me uh, in trouble from YouTube. But look at that. How cool is that, Tom? This thing here, look. It's pretty awesome, isn't it? Awesome. I want one. So I love dark beer. In fact, uh, the last time I had a dark beer that I really remember very well was in Poland in. Uh, room and that was awesome so good man so let's give this a go that is lovely even i reckon you'd like that oh of course please yeah thank you mate that is so cool man i love that <laughs> thank you so much thank you how awesome is that we've got a lit candle adding to the ambience it's the wife's birthday, so I've got to make the extra effort. What do you reckon? Not for you? Dark beer is the one, guys. That's what it's all about. Let's try 1664. Let's try 1664. I think, I don't know where this is. Is it Belgium? Not sure. That's actually pretty good, man. Yeah. That's awesome. I'll have to get that one day. But no, we're in Lithuania, trying Lithuanian beers, trying Lithuanian food with a Lithuanian experience. And uh, I must admit, Lithuania is a little bit more expensive than I expected, but that being said, we are obviously in the capital city, in the main tourist section, I guess. So, uh, but I don't really, yeah, you know I mean, I don't want to venture too far off at night on my first day. But in terms of first impressions of Lithuania, I've loved every minute, guys. It's been so awesome. It's just such a laid back, cool country. Everyone's really friendly and they're just generally such a good time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish this beer and then we'll take you back to the apartment where we're gonna try the stuff that we bought from the shops and let you know what we think of it as well. So we'll see you shortly. All right, people, back at the apartment. Just got ourselves sorted, had a nice shower and oh, ready to cool down. And after all that, I thought, hey, let's have a quick snack. But I'm pretty sure you around this apartment. I'm not going to give you a tour, but that's pretty much it. Bathroom in there. Nice little area over here. I've got myself set up here doing some vlogging. I quite like that as well. That's uh, quite unique. And uh, it's the same over there as well. Just called a cool kind of stonework situation. And the walls are quite cool as well. And uh, yeah, so skill on this. What is Skilandis, this stuff here? Well, it's essentially a, it's meat which has been kind of pushed through into a, a pig's bladder, from what I understand. And it's uh, spiced and it's got various, you know, bits of fat and stuff in it. And it's regionally specific to uh, Lithuania. So actually it's called uh, Lietuvas Skilandis, 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 Lietuvas Skilandis, or something like that. Um, and this is my first time trying it, so let's get in there and see what it's like. So, a bit cat handed because Tammy's in the shower, but uh, I'm gonna try and uh, cut this. I was holding the camera, so <laughs> wish me luck. Okay, there we go. So, that's the meat sorted. So, I cut a bit off, and uh, it's just off the end, and it smells good, very, very meaty. Um, so yeah, let's give it a go. Let's see what skill and this is like. Hmm. Wow. It's kind of like a salami. It's like salami, but better, dare I say. Um, quite similar to salami I've been hungry actually. Try a bit more. 
Asta hmm. So it's cold smoked and uh, that's probably quite good in a sandwich with cheese, I reckon. Um, or maybe as on like a platter. But uh, well, yeah, one of my friends from the he recommended it. So, Yodagita, I'm gonna say pronounce your name, I'm not sure. Thank you, that's a great recommendation. And I've got some Gira, 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 go oh, Gira, that's how you pronounce it. And uh, <laughs> it's not something we have, we have it in the UK. It's easy to get off in the UK, incredibly easy. If you're in the UK right now, you want this, you can literally go to your nearest, you know, mini pole, something like that, and it will be in there, 100%. I saw it the other day when I was uh, back home before I came here. And uh, I thought, no, I'm not going to try it there. I'm going to try it here. Now, Tammy, she's full up, so she's not interested in this Columbus. And she's already had Gira. Um, she's had it years ago. She's not a fan. She's, uh, you know, got a, it's the quiet taste for some. But uh, I'm going to go and get a bottle opener and we'll go and try this gear out and see what it's like. Okay, bottle opener required. Let's give this a go. So, this is going to be a challenge. Let's see if I can open this. What's vlogging this for you guys? So, oh, here we go. Oh, okay. Great. <laughs> Must have got shooken up in the bag. Well, we keep committing to it. Let's keep going. And great. <laughs> oh, that's a little bit annoying. That is not what I planned for. Okay. Give me a moment. I'm just going to fix this mess. Right. Disaster averted. Whoa. Wow. This better be worth it. <laughs> Gira, Gira, whatever. It's weird actually because uh, I where I, I work in uh, IT and we have something called Gira, so it feels weird saying that. So <laughs> let's go for Gira. That is odd. I have never tasted anything like that in my life. I can't. What's the closest thing I can describe it to? It's like nothing I've ever tried. How does it describe it? It's made with bread. It's made with bread. Bread. No way. I have to show you this. It's made with bread. A drink made with bread. That's crazy. Look, bread, a bread drink. How do you make a drink from bread? Okay, let's try again. I'll work out the flavor, the closest fare I can give you. Okay, the closest thing I can compare this to in the UK is a drink called Dandelion and Burdock. Literally nothing like it, but it's the closest thing I can use as an example. So if you're Lithuanian and you live in the UK, you may see a drink called Dandelion and Burdock. Dandelion being the flower Dandelion and Burdock, I think is also a flower. Um, and we make a drink out of it. When I was a kid, I used to love it. And now I don't really like it, but this is okay. It's not like it. Very refreshing, very like almost malty, but it's made of rye bread, I guess, isn't it? So, dark rye. So, it's made with water, sugar, rye bread crumbs, which has been roasted, and then acidity regulators, and then stuff to make it fizzy, carbon, etc. etc. I don't know what I feel about that. It's interesting. Wow. Very gassy, sorry guys. Uh, but yeah, there's a picture of a bird in the field there collecting the bread. I think it's just something that I'd have to take get, get used to. It's nothing, it's unlike it. The only reference point I have is a drink that I don't particularly like. Um, 
so it's a bit of a strange one for me but uh yeah it's interesting and it's uh, very popular here um but it's just a very very it's a taste that i've never experienced before so it's hard to kind of my brain's still kind of ticking around to try to work out what it thinks but uh hey we're here to try new things we can't like them all uh would i gear again probably not no um but that's purely because it's just something that's so different but uh would i recommend people try it yeah absolutely especially if you like dandelion and burdock um that being said tammy likes dandelion and burdock and she doesn't like gear either so it just might be a regional thing you know there might be things that you try that you just your brain can't process right guys it's the next day and we actually got some more bits to try so i thought why why end the vlog there we've got a few different things so we'll show you what we've got and we'll extend the food tour a little bit because we thought why not so the lovely tummy shall explain what we have here right oh hang on. <laughs> sorry <laughs> right so here we have some lithuanian bread mm -hmm. what's it called let's have a look I don't know if this is good bread, guys. Oh, it's called Lietu vi vi Viate. Lietu Viate. Batonas. Sorry, guys. It was my best shot. And then we We've have got some of that uh, uh, Kuk um, Skilandis, I think it was called. We also have some of that. We have some of this uh, spread. So it's, I'm not going to pronounce it, guys. I've embarrassed myself enough. It's like a ham and cheese spread. And that's what it looks like just here. There you go, it's a lovely creamy ham and cheese spread. And then we have some smoked cheese. We've got some smoked cheese as well, because we got recommended to try some smoked cheese. So Tam's made up a little sandwich here, and uh, yeah. I'll we'll give it a go. All right, so I don't know how this, if this is how you'd usually eat it, guys. Probably not, but let's try it. Oh wow. Look at the little spread we've got. Mmm. It's um a flavour bomb. It's amazing. So you've got the smokiness of the, from the cheese, and you've got the smokiness and the meatiness, and then the spice from the uh skillandis. But that's what it's called. I mean I've thrown away the packaging, I've just sliced it all up now. And then obviously the cheesy spread adds like a creaminess to it as well. That's amazing. Try a bit of that sound. It's a bit big. Mm. It's good, isn't it? Mm. We've got some more step things as well. We believe that these are. Get one out. We also got some of these. Wow, they are well stuck in that bag. There we go. We got some of these, which are, what are they, like plums? I don't know, they're like giant grapes. To me. Yeah, <laughs> well, try one and let's see what it is. Mm. It's not a grape. It's not a grape, what it's is not it? A grape. It might be a plum actually. Oh right, it's got a seed, okay. It's actually really nice. Let's uh, let's try. Sorry about my hair, guys. I'm uh, I've, I've been doing quite the walk. So let's try a Lithuanian plum. It feels very juicy. Get rid of that stalk. Mmm. That's very very sweet. And very very juicy. Wow. I do love plums. Mm. In the UK, I've never seen them though. They're small. Have you ever seen a miniature plum? Are they called plums here? What do you call them in Lithuania? Are they plums? Whatever they are, they're great. So I also got something different. Now I'm not really a fan of this type of bread, but I got some seeded dark bread. So what I do is I'll quickly slice it up and we shall have a look at it closer. Trying to do this with a bread knife, guys. It's uh, quite a challenge. 
here we go we're in so what is i'll try a bit on its own and then i'll try a bit with the uh with like some toppings or something so on its own we've got look at that look at them seeds guys look at that beautiful Mmm. <laughs> so I think they're sunflower seeds. Yep, that's the unmistakable taste of a sunflower seed right there. I'm not sure what the other seeds are though. They're really good. I've never tried the other seeds. Let's get a bit of spread on it. See what some spread's like. Look at that look. Oh. Get that right on there. Look at that bad boy. And then I'll get a bit of this uh, meat tam. Can you prepare me a uh, slice of that cheese, please, love? Uh, yeah. Let me take the camera. <laughs> I'll let her prepare the uh, the cheese. There's a knife there, love. Yeah, I'm not. I'm looking for the sharp knife. All oh, right. Are we supposed to eat the casing, guys, as well? We, we can't figure that out. I mean, we've just been eating the casing, but not not that casing, by the way. Not that no, bit, like the brown bit. The, the, the brown rind. bit. The rind, the, yeah. We've been eating that bit. Okay, let's come in for one big bite. I'll save that bit for later. Right, bottoms up. Mmm. I prefer that combination. You sure you want to try it? No, thank You're you. You're not a fan of seeds, are you? Mmm. That's incredible. So, I'll tell you as well. We did try, I can't pronounce it, I think it's called Shabudikas. Shabudikas. I don't know, I'll put it on the screen below. We tried that, and we went to a, uh, a place near the uh, near the Vilnius uh, train station, and they undercooked it. It's pork, right? I think pork's in the middle. I opened it up, and it was mush. I put my finger to feel the texture, and it was slimy and cold. But Tammy's was a solid piece of meat, and I was like, so I did some research and it's supposed to be a solid piece of meat. So I don't know what the hell happened. I think he undercooked it, but it wasn't very nice, guys. And then we had a kebab, and the kebab was okay. It was just a kebab, really. But shawarma. it was, uh, it's more a shawarma. <laughs> um, but it's expensive, it's expensive. But again, when you're on the tourist trail. And then we got some like sweet goods. And to be honest, we just literally picked up anything that looked relatively cool. Um, so we got, this i have no idea what it is so this is a first for me let's open it up wow okay put it inside. looks like it's got jam or looks something. like apricot jam let's use this bit then. that's uh, a better example yeah i'll have this bit let's try it oh wow What's it like? Um, it's like a kind of like a brioche dough, but heavier, like not as not as light, not not in a bad way, just like it's a bit firmer, but it's still very very airy. Like it's got obviously air bubbles in it, and then the the pastry itself. Let's try the pastry on its own. Is a uh, not a sweetened pastry. It does have powdered sugar on it, but then the centre is uh, like a flavour bomb. I'll let Tammy try some. <clears throat> look at that, she's got the best bit, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I should have done that, shouldn't I? Oh, look at that, nicking the jam as well, I see. Absolutely. This is T. McGrath. She's stealing, stealing from me, look. Mm. Good. I'll let you try the next thing, because neither of us really know what these things are. But this was another thing we picked up. If you guys can help us work out what these things are, there's this. What is it, guys? Help us out. <laughs> Regardless, time we'll do the smell and then the food test. 
Does anybody else sniff oh, their food? It's oh, got wow. It's sitting there. So it's like a hot dog. I was not expecting that. Right, let me put that one there. Okay. I'll get one prepared. Mm. It's good. Mm. Food tours don't just stop at uh, you know going to fancy restaurants and stuff. You can, I say, right, go to the local supermarkets. The bread is really sweet. It's a sweet bread. Try it. Okay, go to go to your local supermarket if you're staying in a different country and try some of the food from there. Just pick up stuff. That's what we did. We didn't know any of this stuff. Just picked it up. It's gone. Works out well. Hey. I know, my mind's blown. What a great idea, Lithuania. You've combined a sweet treat, a slightly sweetened pastry, with a smoky sausage. That's lovely. Let's be brave <laughs> and try it with a bit of that dip. Let's see what happens. That's pretty good. Let's be really crazy, guys. Oh no. <laughs> Look, if we're adding sweet and pastry and stuff, you know, you guys have just opened up a new gateway in my mind here. Let's try a bit of this. That's amazing. What is that, guys? Whatever the hell it is, I need to find that in the UK mm. and quick. That's incredible. All right, love. What's the last thing? Hang on, we've got two more. I've got two more things. Okay. We've got something that looks like it's got pistachio in it, some, but I don't like pistachio. Okay, eat around them then. That's fine. Was it a tough one? You got your coffee there to pair it with. That's good, isn't it? <laughs> got ourselves a Nest Cafe. Can't go wrong with that. All right. Kind of dumping it all on the plate would look now we really are mixing sweet and savory aren't we <laughs> mm. is it good how would you describe it um what is going on Lithuania you guys are on another level right Let's try a bit of that on the side. Mmm. I love pistachios. I love them. And look at that, guys. Look, Lithuania, you are the country of big surprises. You really are. Let's get this combo, the pistachios and the cream. Slum dunk Lithuania. Well, oh, that's going to be repeating on you later, isn't it? <laughs> I don't react very well to pistachios, I must no, admit. you don't. It gives me very bad heartburn, <laughs> but worth it. Um, for you, maybe. For me, no. No, not for you, yeah. <laughs> okay. Final one. A mini pastry pyramid triangle thing. I don't know what to expect, guys. I might open this. They might, I might fly some like. You Do you know, know what it looks like? You know, like the apple turnover. It does. Yeah, it reminds me of an apple turnover we get in mm. the UK. But knowing Lithuania, how surprising! I think, yeah, I open that. I didn't expect a, sauce, expect a sausage. No. I didn't expect beautiful pistachio cream in this. So, oh, there is one more thing actually. Oh yeah. I need to show you guys. We'll go and get the big bag in a minute. Well, I've been looking so hard for this last thing, and I finally found it. But let's have a look. I'm expecting confetti to clap. <laughs> Let's see what you guys have got for us. Oh, okay. What have we got here then? We have some sort of jam. And I believe it's apricot. You guys love apricots, don't you, in Lithuania? I love apricot. Can't blame you though, bloody amazing. Hmm. <laughs> no? No. It's an apple turnover. We call these apple turnovers in the UK, guys. Mm. Mm -hmm. Really nice. Mm. Okay, 
There's one last thing to show you, but I gotta go and uh, get it. Here we go, guys. The fabled legendary Sakotis. I've been looking for this everywhere. It's usually like, what, 21 euros? Something ridiculous like that, like 25 euros for one of these. I found this for four euros. Now, it might not be the best version, but look, I ain't paying 25 euros for a cake that I don't know what it tastes like. But I'm finally here trying to circle this for you guys. And do follow us. Uh, we've got, we're, we're going to be going to Kalnas soon as well. So from Kalnas, there's a few more things we're going to try there. Do uh, follow us there. And also to um, Trake. We're going to try some local food in Trake. So do join us if you're interested in food as well. Because we're going to see what it's like. But here we go, Sakotis. Wow, look at that, it's like a Christmas tree. It's amazing. Let's get involved, let's get inside it. Let's see what we're dealing with here, guys. Let's see what surprises Lithuania has in store for us. That's if you can get in. Let's see if I can get into it, yeah. They should put more things like this for me. Stop <laughs> this fat guy getting in to, uh, to the pastry products. That should be the new incentive in Would the UK. Like to do it? That's all right, I'll, go, I'll figure it out. You've done it, not quite. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Oh, there we go, guys. There we go. It's like Fort Knox. <laughs> You're making a mountain out of it. <laughs> there we go. Oh, wow, okay, mate. There we go. I've done it. I've done it. Success. Okay. Look at this, guys. So I've heard that the recipe for this is incredibly straightforward. It's like just eggs, milk, flour, sugar, something like that. It's just straightforward. So why do they charge so much for it, guys? Is there a reason? Is this like a... A holiday thing is it's is there a reason like I don't know but let's try first ever time of Sakotis I think that's how you say it wow look at them layers guys they're messing about um it's okay guys it's okay it's it's not really my cup of tea. I try to be honest with these things. It's a little bit, I don't want to say bland, but given all of the surprises we've had, like all this stuff going on, it's one of the like least flavorful things, but it's, it's still very interesting. I reckon it'll go well with a coffee. It tastes a bit of vanilla in it, I guess. That's mm -hmm. quite nice. So, what do you reckon, Sam? What do you make of Sakotis? I'm not a fan. No. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure why it's so expensive as well. Um, I'm glad I didn't pay for the, the top tier one. But that might have been it. I might have just had to pay a, a bit more and get even better. But yeah, it's quite eggy. Which is a bit strange. We're not used to that. But look, we try to be honest on our food things. Obviously, you guys might not like that all the time. But... You might come to the UK and hate some of our food, mm. you know. So, so, so I'm, not saying, I'm not saying hate it, but it just really ate my cup of tea. But hey, we tried it. So there you go. That's the food tour. Finished and done. Do follow us on the rest of the vlogs where we uh, will try some more foods as well and explore Lithuania. And thank you so much for joining us, guys. Hope you have a great day and catch you all very, very soon. Take care.